Hey what's going on guys, in this video we are going to see how to calculate the current across the inductor and the capacitor and also the voltage across the capacitor and the inductor and also the energy stored in the capacitor and energy through the inductor during the steady state. Steady state is basically when the time is infinity like after a long time what's gonna happen to the circuit like if you think about that when we have a time infinity the energy is going to be fully stored in the capacitance, right? Then after that what we do is, we uh, this capacitance will act as a open. So we, we will just open this one and also the current through the inductor will be remain the same. Like whatever the current comes through this one, it's going to remain the same when the time is infinity. Now let's go ahead and redraw this circuit when the time is infinity. Okay, when the time is infinity we are going to have the circuit that's going to look like this everything except capacitance and the inductor is going to remain the same so this is going to be plus minus 12 voltage and then here we are going to have 1 ohm and uh, V1 and here we have 4 ohm and capacitance we are going to just open this one right and after that we are going to have 5 ohm right here and this one act as a normal circuit like normal line right we short circuit this one and IL through this one okay, let's put like this and uh, we have two Henry's right here and uh, here we have 4 ohm and I see going through this and this is V1 right here and uh, this is one micro uh, one farad actually and then that's it here we have VC and uh, that's it now let's go ahead and find one by one so first the question is asking to find out the current across the capacitor and in study state we seen that this is open so there's no current flow so this is going to be IC is going to be equal to 0 and let's look at IL and you can see that uh, IL and uh, you know IL okay so this is open and whatever the I we, we had an I right here that's right whatever the I that's going to be equal to IL I is going to be equal to IL because this is in series right now right because we don't have this one right here so this is in series whatever the I is going to be equal to IL now to find the I we can use the resistance like I is equal to V over R and we know the resistance here this is 5 actually 5 ohm and this is 1 ohm and this is 12 voltage so we can calculate the current across this one like 12 voltage divided by the total resistance that's 1 plus 5 that's going to be 6 so 12 over 6 that's going to be 2 ampere so that answers the second question. Now let's look at the third. We are trying to find the voltage across the capacitance and when it's open there's no current flow here so this Vc is going to be equal to V1 right so Vc is equal to V1. Now let's see how we can find the V1. V1 if you notice here we have 12 voltage so V1 is going to be 12 times this other resistance that's 5 over the addition of these two resistance that's going to be 5 plus 1 and that's going to be 5 over 6 so 2 times 5 that's going to be 10 voltage so V1 is equal to 10 voltage so VC is also equal to 10 voltage and let's see what happened to the what happened to the voltage across this inductor and we seen that the, volt, the current doesn't change in the inductor in the steady state current will be remain the same so there's no current change in current therefore no voltage like VL is going to be just 0 right and 5 what is the energy stored in capacitance now WC is equal to half CV square and here we have the capacitance that is 1 farad so this is going to be 1 and we found out the voltage that is 10 voltage 10 square that's going to be 100 divided by 2 that's going to be 50 joule right and uh, the last one is what is the energy through the inductor now to find the energy through the inductor we we use this equation that is w 
L is equal to half L. Okay, half L. W L is equal to. Okay, W L is equal to half L time I L square. Now half times L is the inductance that is two Henry's. So this is going to be two times the current we found out that is two ampere that's going to be the current that's flowing through this one so we are going to put two square right here and this is going to be two times two square that's going to be eight, four times two eight eight divided by two that's going to be four joule so four joule is the energy that's going to go through the inductor and that's how we do this kind of problems i hope this helps thanks for watching